so in the last class uh, we have done non rectangular resolution of forces if you remember so let us summarize few points from last class and then let, let us proceed uh, point number 1 uh, non rectangular resolution is when we find the component of forces along two directions which do not make angle of 90 degrees with one another am i very clear others can you keep yourself unmuted for some time yes sir yeah so whenever the directions along which we are resolving the force do not make angle of 90 degree with, with reference to one another we call that as non rectangular resolution point number 1 point number 2 is the definition of components so let us say we have we are decomposing or resolving a force along two directions then if we add those components along to those two directions we get the original force that means if we re remove the original force on a body and at the same point where it was applied if we apply this components which uh, this resolution components of a force then they produce same effect not only at point of application but also at all other points on the body as p was producing am i very clear yes sir okay so this was about non rectangular components point number 3 Uh, even if we maintain one direction constant let us say we are going to resolve the force along u for sure but if the other direction changes that means from v if we change it to v dash then both components along both the directions do change and i have proved that to you by drawing a graphical representation here i hope you remember this yes sir okay now let us proceed further now today we are going to discuss rectangular components of a force so what do we mean by rectangular components so whenever we seek the answer to the question where we need to resolve the force along two mutually orthogonal directions the com resulting components are called as rectangular components now look at this force p bar 10 newton is its magnitude and mind you intentionally i have shown the directions x and y not being horizontal or vertical Are you with me? Yes, sir. हाँ. तो अगर आपके दिमाग में ये इक्वेशन फिट है the x is horizontal and y is vertical, please drop that equation in your mind. ऐसे कोई जरूरी नहीं है x and y are two mutually orthogonal directions. Because the notion of verticality and horizontality on earth will not hold if you go into venture into the space. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. therefore x and y are any directions passing through a point the only particular thing about them is they make angle of 90 degree with one another are you with me yes sir ha and i have shown another orthogonal set of directions that is x dash and y dash in this particular case i have taken x dash as horizontal and y dash as vertical do you agree with me yes sir okay and now the question that is been asked to you is this is problem number 9 now in this course you have to resolve this force p bar along x and y directions and x dash and y direction y dash directions are you with me yes sir okay now this p bar has a magnitude of 10 newton and it makes an angle of anti clockwise 40 degree with reference to unit vector along x dash so its position is given and you have also been given the angle between x and y dash so as so you will readily understand that even this angle is 20 degree are you with me yes sir even this angle is 20 degree now let us first solve part a of this problem so i will first draw x axis this is x direction and this is y direction so i will draw the directions first let me draw x direction and y direction mutually they are at an angle of 90 degree do you agree with me this is x this is y now with reference to x what is the angle made by p can you tell me x direction or with reference to y what is the angle made by p so y makes an angle of 20 degree with x dash and p makes an angle of 40 degree with x dash therefore with reference to y this p must be making angle of 20 degree do you agree with me 
यस सर सो हाउ शुड आई ड्रॉ दिस पी तो यहां पे 20 डिग्री एंगल y के साथ आर यू विथ मी दिस इज पी बार which has a magnitude of 10 meter uh, and then what is the angle made by this p with reference to x axis easy that is tell me 90 minus 20 so is, is it 70 degree 70 yes sir. because angle between x and y is 90 degree. 90 and now we are trying to resolve this force along x and y directions do you agree yes sir so how do we do that? We complete the parallelogram. So from tip of P, I draw a line parallel to X. And from tip of P, I draw a line parallel to Y. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Now tell me, does this completed parallelogram is in fact a rectangle? Yes, sir. Because this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree 90. all the angles are 90 degrees so therefore degree. it is rectangle do you agree with me yes sir ah, therefore we call these components as rectangular components whenever you are resolving the force along directions which are mutually orthogonal the completed parallelogram forms a rectangle so we call it we call them as rectangular components am i very clear yes sir ah, now Tell me, what is the component along x direction? This is the component along x direction. Happy? Yes, sir. And I am going to call it as Px bar, whose magnitude is Px. Px bar is the vector directed along x direction. And it is the resolution or it is a component of P bar along x direction. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. And which is the component along z direction, uh, along y direction. So this is the component along y direction. If I, yes, if I have to show, this is the component. And I am going to call it as py bar. Uh, and its magnitude is py. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Uh, now, magnitude wise, is this length also px? Yes, sir. And magnitude wise, is this length also Py? Yes, sir. Now apply simple the trigonometry in this triangle. So what do you get? Cos theta is what? Tell me. Cos theta is adjacent side Py upon yes, hypotenuse. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Uh, so adjacent side Py upon, upon Hypotenuse. Square root. Yes. Ah, square root of a p no, no. square plus. No, no, just call it as p. Magnitude okay. of p bar is yes, p. Yes. Do you agree with me? So yes, py sir. is equal to py by p is equal to cos of 20 degree. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. If I ask you what is sine of 20 degree, so what should I write? So p upon uh, no p px upon p. Px upon P. So can you tell me what is P, P, what is Py and what is Px? Py now becomes P cos theta, Px now becomes P sin theta. Yes, sir. Do you agree with me? Yes. P cos 20 is Py and P sin 20 is Px. Happy? Yes, sir. Now, if I see this triangle, this triangle, then what do I have to write, sir? Uh, si sine of 70 degree. How do I write? So sine of upon P. Py upon P. P. So do you understand? Py is also P sine 70 degree. Yes, sir. Huh. And then what is, uh, how do I write cos 70 degree? So Px upon P. Uh, Px upon P. So do you understand Px is also P cos 70 degree? Are you with me? Yes. Yes. So now just clear this one time, I don't need any confusion in this one. 
if i call if i call this angle as theta then py is p cos theta and px is p sin theta do you yes, agree sir. with me uh, so yes, therefore jiske beech mein theta wo component cos theta ye dhyan mein rakhna jiske beech mein theta wo component cos theta are you with me aur dusra yes, jo component hai that is going to be sin theta now if i call this this angle as alpha so tell me how much is px jiske beech mein alpha wo component cos alpha so therefore it is p cos alpha do you agree with me Yes. हाँ सो पी एक्स को मैं दो तरीके से बोल सकता हूं पी कॉस अल्फा या फिर पी साइन डीटा यस सर सिमिलरली पी वाई को दो तरीके से बोल सकता हूं जिसके बीच में थीटा वो कंपोनेंट कॉस थीटा सो देर फोर पी वाई इज इक्वल टू पी कॉस थीटा आर यू मी यस सर and if i am considering alpha as the angle it is not the angle between p and py so it is not cos component it is sin component so i can as well write py as p sin alpha do you agree with me yes sir okay so therefore rectangular components mein kaise rehta hai dekho it's very easy jo angle hai wo wala component cos hai aur jo angle nahi diya hai wo wala component sin hai are you with me yes sir so now tell me the value p is 10 magnitude of p is 10 so how much is px you can use either of these two expressions it can be 10 cos 70 or 10 sin 20 you are going to get the same answer so how much is that tell me how much is px and how much is py so px is 3.42 3. Point? 3. Point 42 newton ha and py is 9.439 these are the components along x and y directions do you agree with me yes sir ha ab zara dekho kaun sa component zyada aaya px ya py py has come out to be greater in magnitude that was obvious because p is closer to y than x dekho yes sir understand this yes sir okay so intuitively also this is fine now let us go and solve second problem second part in this now i have to resolve this p along x dash and y dash so mujhe kaise draw karna padega i will draw now x dash and i will draw this direction y dash are you with me yes sir and p is making an angle of 40 degree with x dash so p kaise dikhaunga it is making an angle of have it 40 degree with x dash do you agree with me yes sir this is p bar now how do i resolve it along x dash and y dash from p tip of p i have to draw line parallel to y dash from tip of p i have to draw line parallel to x dash so the resulting parallelogram formed is rectangle and therefore we call these components as well as rectangular components are you with me yes sir rectangular components iska matlab ye nahi hai ki aap hamesha horizontal aur vertical ke along components nikalenge nahi koi bhi do aise directions jo ek dusre ko perpendicular hai unke about agar aap force ke component nikal rahe ho to us components ko hum bolte hai rectangular components happy yes sir okay so now x dash and y dash ye angle 40 degree hai so naturally how much is this angle this is 50 degree 50 are you with me so yes, chalo 40 aur 50 dono ke hisab se mujhe px bar batao this is px bar do you agree with me px dash bar yes sir and this is py dash bar ha yeah. so chalo 
पी एक्स डैश टेल मी इन टर्म्स ऑफ फोर्टी डिग्री कितना आएगा पी सर साइन फोर्टी इज इक्वल टू नहीं वो वो दिमाग में आप मत रखो नहीं वो मैंने आपको एक बार करके दिखाया ना जोमेट्री अब वो नहीं उतना टाइम नहीं है हमारे पास मैंने क्या जिसके बीच में थीटा वो कंपोनेंट कॉस थीटा सो इट इज पी कॉस फोर्टी आर यू विथ मी नाउ टेल मी दी सेम कंपोनेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ फिफ्टी जिसके बीच में थीटा फिफ्टी इज नॉट बिटवीन पी बार एंड एक्स डैश सो देर फॉर दैट कंपोनेंट साइन बी पी साइन फिफ्टी साइन डू एग्री विथ मी Yes. Now tell me, p y dash in terms of forty degree. P sine forty degree. Yeah, because forty degree is not between p and y dash. So p sine forty degree, and in terms of fifty degree, it is between y dash and p. So jiske beech me theta, wo ang component cos theta. So therefore p cos theta. Cos fifty. Cos fifty. Fifty. Are you with me? And now yes. so, p is ten. So tell me these components. ये कितने आ रहे हैं? बताओ. The seven point p x dash is seven point six six. Hmm. And therefore towards. And oh okay. ऊपर वाले इसमें हमने गड़बड़ की. It's not towards right and left. It is. It should be in this way. And it should be in this way. Correct? Eh? Yes. And P Y dash is six point four three. P Y dash is six point four three. Four three Newton. Therefore, it is. Therefore, it is up. Therefore, it is towards right because there is a positive sign. Uh, now. अब जरा देखो x डैश और y डैश में क्लोजर कौन सा है x डैश बिकॉज y डैश इज एट 50 डिग्री x डैश इज एट x डैश इज एट 40 डिग्री टू p सो देयर फॉर ऑब्वियसली p x डैश हैज टू बी मोर दैट हैज कम टू बी मोर बट p y डैश आल्सो विल नॉट बी वेरी स्मॉल इन कंपैरिजन विद p x डैश बिकॉज एंगल का डिफरेंस कम है 40 और 50 डिग्री है आर यू विद मी यस सर हां सो एवरीथिंग फिट्स इंटीटिवली करेक्ट so this is the answer so have you understood rectangular components yes sir now tell me jo resultant ka magnitude hum r likhte hain non rectangular components mein usme p square plus square root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta aata hai do you remember this yes sir ha but if the forces are orthogonal to each other matlab px aur py ka magnitude mujhe p ke terms mein likhna hai to kaise likhu p is equal to square root of px square plus py square plus 2 px py cos of 90 degree are you with me yes sir to 90 degree kitna rehta hai cos of 90 degree zero zero ha uh, therefore that term vanishes so therefore p is square root of px square plus py square, PY square. are you with me Yes, sir. Now that is the advantage. So p can be easily calculated. Magnitude of p bar can be easily calculated as square root of p x square. Happy plus p y square. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. As against here, if I I were to calculate the magnitude of p bar. यहाँ पे अगर calculate करना है, तो ये मुझे कैसे लिखना पड़ेगा? It will be PU square plus PV square plus PV square plus 2 PU PV cos 35 PU PV right cos of 35 and cos of 35 does not vanish it is not zero is ka square root ऐसे लिखना पड़ेगा are you with me yes sir यहाँ पे कैसे लिखना पड़ेगा स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ पीवी पी यू डैश स्क्वायर प्लस पीवी डैश स्क्वायर प्लस टू पी यू डैश पीवी डैश कॉस ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री आर यू इतनी यस सर सो यू हैव टू केयरफुली अंडरस्टैंड दीज एस्पेक्ट ऑफ रेक्टेंगुलर एंड नॉन रेक्टेंगुलर रिजोल्यूशन अब जरा देखो वॉट इज द कंपोनेंट ऑफ पी एक्स 
along py zero because it is going to be px cos theta do you agree with me cos 90 is zero zero uh, therefore px or py ye do component ek dusre ko effect nahi karte therefore rectangular resolution is of more importance than non rectangular resolutions now based on this we will solve few problems uh, and i am going to give you a choice kaun sa problem solve karna hai wo aap batao so let me share the screen with me so now we are going to go to problem number 10 problem number 10 okay just a minute did we start recording ha ah, yeah i thought i forgot it's okay we have started uh, share screen screen share hua and now let us go to kibler statics Give me a minute. Yeah. So we are going to solve unsolved problems, and choice is yours. so i will tell you similar type of problems and you will tell me which one we will solve in the class others you can try at home na chalo is page mein se aap batao mujhe kaun sa picture aapko solve karta hai we will solve that first others choice is yours others sir uh, second one this one yes sir okay so just give me a minute print screen in paint paste it select the second problem and i will take it here so this is the problem that we are going to solve is it visible yes sir टू फोर्सेस आर एक्टिंग ऑन दी हुक डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ रिजल्टेंट फोर्स ऐसे पूछा है डी एग्री विथ मी यस सर जो प्रॉब्लम में पूछा है उससे भी और ज्यादा चीजें हम करेंगे सो so, uh, जितना प्रॉब्लम में पूछा है उतना ही आपको एग्जाम में करना है बट एज दिस इज दी क्लास वी विल डू समिंग समथिंग स्मोर सो अब ये हुक दिया है और उसके ऊपर टू रोप्स आर देर एंड दे आर बींग पुल्ड बाई दी फोर्स ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन Uh, these forces are at an angle of 30 degree and 70 degree with reference to horizontal dekho ye dia hai 30 degree this is 40 degree so total is 70 degree are you with me yes sir aur inka resultant aapko find out karna hai so agar hame ye resultant find out karna hai to parallelogram law directly use kar sakte hai do you agree with me aisa parallelogram complete karenge and this is the resultant happy yes sir बट हम वैसे नहीं करने वाले वी आर नाउ गोइंग टू यूज रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ फोर्सेस तो अब जरा देखो इस केस में हाउ डू वी फाइंड आउट द रिजल्टेंट रिजल्टेंट का मतलब क्या है वो पहले समझो वी हैव नॉट ये डिस्कस्ड व्हाट ए रिजल्टेंट इज बट हियर वी विल इन सम सेंस से इफ आई वेयर टू रिमूव दिस टू फोर्सेस एंड इफ आई वेयर टू अप्लाई ए सिंगल फोर्स देन वो क्या होना चाहिए आर यू विथ मी यस सर सो इन इन सेंस जो हमने रिजोल्यूशन में किया उसका ये रिवर्स प्रोसेस है इन रिजोल्यूशन वी वुड हैव डिकम्पोज द फोर्सेस अलॉन्ग टू डिरेक्शन हियर वी ट्राई टू नाउ कंबाइन द फोर्स टू फोर्सेस इन टू अ वन फोर्स आर यू विथ मी तो रिजोल्यूशन का एक्जैक्टली अपोजिट रिवर्स एक्शन है देन हाउ डू वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम बाई रिजोल्यूशन तो अब जरा देखो आई विल कॉल दिस डिरेक्शन एज एक्स डिरेक्शन Are you with me? Yes, sir. Ah, and I will call upward direction as y direction. Let us see. 
I have called this direction as y direction. Yes. And let me call this first force as p bar. And let me call this second force as q bar. And now I am going to ask you a question. Can you resolve both the forces p bar and q bar along x and y directions? Are you equipped with whatever is required for that? Can you tell me what is px bar? Chalo, batao. Figure dekh ke batao. P ka x direction ke along component. This angle is 30 degree. P cos 30. Yes. Jis ke beech mein theta, wo component cos theta. So therefore, 200 is the magnitude of P cos of 30 degree. And as it is towards right, that is towards positive direction, I am going to call this component as positive. Are you with me? So I have yes. kept this Px as positive. When will Px be negative? Agar ye P force aise rehta, 200. Ah, to iska jo x axis ke along component aane wala hai, wo negative x direction mein directed rehta. To mein usko negative bolta. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So therefore, ye Px humne calculate kiya, Px bar. It is 200 cos 30. Now can you tell me what is Py bar? Two hundred sine thirty. हाँ, लेकिन कौन से direction में है? So upwards positive. नहीं, ये two hundred है ना? देखो, this is the two hundred force. तो x direction में ये component आया. Y direction का जो component है, वो Down. कौन से direction में है? This and this. This is the rectangular resolution. So y directional oh. component is in downward direction. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Yes. And we have taken upward y as positive. So therefore, this will be minus 200 minus. sin 30. Agreed? Yes, sir. Kisi ko isme kuch doubt hai to poocho. Dekho, man hi man mein apne ye diagram construct karna hai. 200 x direction ke along aise hoga aur y direction ke along aise hoga to hi unka sum ye aega. So therefore, y component must be directed downwards and therefore it is negative. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Chalo, ab dusra component. Q bar. Q bar ke components nikalte hai. Can you tell me how much is Qx bar? Uh, sir, Qx bar is 500. Cos, P cos 70. Yes, 500 cos 70 degree. Great. Jiske beech mein theta, ye pura angle 70 degree hai. Because this, this angle is 40. This is 40. So total yes. angle is 70 degree. Jiske beech mein theta, wo component cos theta. Therefore, it is 50 cos 70. And money yes. one mein imagine karo, isko resolve kiya hai karke. To, ye jo 500 Newton ka force hai, usko resolve kiya, to x direction mein aise component aega. Are you with me? Or yes. y direction mein aise component aega. To, y direction ka component downward. और x डायरेक्शन का कंपोनेंट टुवर्ड्स राइट टुवर्ड्स राइट है तो पॉजिटिव x डायरेक्शन में है इसलिए इसको पॉजिटिव साइन दिया आर यू विद मी यस सर हां एंड नाउ टेल मी व्हाट इज qy बार 500 sin 70 डिग्री माइनस यस माइनस बिकॉज़ इट इज एक्टिंग इन नेगेटिव y डायरेक्शन आई कुड हैव एज़ वेल चोजन y एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड टू बी एट द इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस दैट्स ओके देन अकॉर्डिंगली यू विल राइट द साइन आर यू विद मी यस सर so it is 500 sin 70. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. हाँ. अब मैं एक बोल रहा हूँ कि इन दोनों का जो resultant है, उसको मैं R बोलने वाला हूँ. So I am going to call the resultant of these two forces as R. And can I have now x component of R? R का x component कितना आएगा? तो R का x component आने वाला है summation of x components of both these forces. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Ah, so, dono forces ke x component ka sum. Matlab kya? Px. And by yes, the way, this is magnitude. This is magnitude of Px bar. Magnitude yes. of Qx bar. And magnitude of Qy bar. So, it is going to... That I can represent only by Px. I will not give bar sign here. So, it is going to be Px plus Qx. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Aur ye sign ke saath karna hai. So, Px ka bhi sign positive, Qx ka bhi sign positive. So, in dono ka sum. Now, tell me how much is 200 cos 30 and 50 cos 70. Sir, 200 cos 30 is 
no don't tell me separate values add it in 50 cos 70 and tell me the total value okay sir so that's ah. 500 sir wo aapne 50 likh diya yes 500 500 cos 70 so 500 cos 70 plus 200 cos 30 how much is that so 344.21 Three forty-four. Uh, can someone tell me how many participants are there right now in the class? Forty-four participants are there. Okay. Yeah. So how much? Yeah. Three forty-four point two one. Three forty-four point two one. Two one newton. Are you with me? And what yes, is? Sir. वो जो रिजल्टेंट एक फोर्स रहने वाला है उसका वाई कंपोनेंट क्या होगा इट इज गोइंग टू बी समेशन ऑफ वाई कंपोनेंट ऑफ ऑल दी फोर्सेस सो दैट समेशन इज गोइंग टू बी पी वाई प्लस क्यू वाई सो डू दिस समेशन विथ साइन सो माइनस टू हंड्रेड साइन थर्टी माइनस फाइव हंड्रेड साइन सेवेंटी हाउ मच माइनस एट फाइव सही है ना न्यूटन अब जरा देखो इसका हम जरा पिक्चर बनाते हैं सो आर एक्स इज गोइंग टू बी टूवर्ड्स राइट बिकॉज द साइन इज पॉजिटिव एंड आर वाई इज गोइंग टू बी डाउनवर्ड बिकॉज द साइन इज निगेटिव डू यू एग्री विद मी यस सर एंड आर एक्स से आर वाई ज्यादा है सो अकॉर्डिंगली आई विल ड्रॉ दिस स्केच हाँ तो इन दोनों का जो रिजल्टेंट है डेट इज आर डू यू एग्री विथ मी Yes sir, and that is also the resultant of p bar and q bar. So, ये resultant कौन से quadrant में आने वाला है? That will be decided by the sine of r x and r y. Quadrant will be decided by the sine. Do you agree with me? Yes sir. Ha. And once you decide the quadrant, then forget about the sine. देखो मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ? I am making an important statement. Quadrant in which the resultant lies will be decided by the sine of r x and r y. But once you decide the quadrant and show this diagram, now forget about the sign. Now don't make fuss about sign. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Ah, so this component, how much is it? Tell me. This component is three forty four point two one. Four point two one. And how much is this component? Five sixty nine point eight five. Now, if I have written it negatively, then it means that it will be downward negative, that means upward. Negation of negation is assertion. Yes, sir. Are you with me? So now, once yes, you have taken care of the quadrant by using this sign, forget about the sign. Sign don't write here. Five sixty nine point eight five. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Ah, or Newton. Therefore, answer write some way. How to do it? Look. As this is the plus sign, therefore it is towards right. As this is the negative sign, therefore it is towards down. अगर आपने ये therefore sign eliminate किया, तो इसका मतलब है minus five sixty nine downward. मतलब five sixty nine upward. Are you with me? हाँ सर. तो इसलिए therefore sign is very important. You have to have this sign while writing down the answer. And also in this sketch, you have to take care that you are not mentioning the sign. You are showing it the sense, showing the sense. So no, no need to mention the sign. Now, मुझे resultant की direction भी तो चाहिए and magnitude भी चाहिए. Do you agree with me? Yes. Now, what is the magnitude of this resultant? This resultant is sum of this x component and y component. I already said when it is the sum of components along right angles, then कॉस्ट थीटा वाला टर्म चला जाता है सो आर इज गोइंग टू बी सिंपली स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ आर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस आर वाई स्क्वायर डू यू एग्री विथ मी बिकॉज आर एक्स और आर वाई के बीच में एंगल 90 डिग्री है सो टू आर एक्स आर वाई कॉस्ट नाइनटी दिस टर्म इज गोइंग टू वैनिश कॉस्ट नाइनटी इज जीरो आरी विथ मी यस सर हाँ सो वट इज द मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ आर बार दैट इज आर तो कैलकुलेट करो स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फाइव सिक्सटी नाइन पॉइंट एट फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट टू वन स्क्वायर टेल मी हाउ मच इट इज कितना है सर वन मिनट सर 
or six sixty five point seven four. How much? Six sixty five point seven four. Ah, six sixty five point seven four newton. Newton. Are you with me? Of course, I have to write newton here as well. Ah, six sixty five point seven four newton is the magnitude. And now I want to calculate. The एंगल मेड बाई दिस आर बार विथ रेफरेंस टू एक्स एक्सिस ये थीटा कैलकुलेट करना है तो वो कितना आएगा टेन थीटा विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव सिक्सटी नाइन पॉइंट एट फाइव अपॉन थ्री फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट टू आर सो देर फोर थीटा विल बी इक्वल टू टेन इनवर्स ऑफ आर वाई अपॉन आर एक्स डू एग्री विथ मी यस सर हाँ अब यहाँ पे बहुत कंफ्यूजन होता है लोगों का सो लेट मी क्लियर दैट कंफ्यूजन वंस फॉर एंड एंड फॉर ऑल so whenever you are writing down r r y upon r x you have to understand that you are going to write it without sign because quadrant is already determined by the sign are you with me yes sir ha to kon se bhi quadrant mein ho ye jo theta aap likhoge us time yahan pe r y aur r x ka sign nahi lena hai you have to show that in diagram diagram mein dikhana hai kon se quadrant mein hai are you with me yes sir Ah, and so tan inverse of R y upon R x. Tell me how much is that? Tan so thirty one. You are calculating degree more. Ah, thirty one point one three. Thirty one point one three. One three degree. Are you with me? Ah, this is the angle made with reference to which axis? With reference so, to x axis. X axis. Are you with me? Many books will confuse you whether this is anti-clockwise angle with positive x-axis, with negative x-axis, and what not. Don't get confused. Our strategy is here. Which strategy is the quadrant will be decided by the sign of components. We will draw the sketch while calculating theta. We are not going to be bothered about the sign of R Y and R X. Am I very clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ah, so this is theta with reference to x. Now, if I ask you, what is the angle made by resultant with reference to y? Ninety minus thirty-one point one three, fifty-eight point eight seven. Yes, but with formula, I can calculate. करना है directly. So tan inverse of r y by r x. Yes, sir. So tan inverse of r y by r x without sign is the angle made with reference to y axis. Are you with me? एंड एक्स एक्सिस के साथ अगर करना है तो इट इज आर वाई टेन इनवर्स ऑफ आर वाई बाय आर एक्स अरे मैंने सेम ही लिखा आर एक्स बाय आर वाई आई एम वेरी सॉरी आई हैव टू मेक इट आर एक्स बाय आर वाई सर थीटा फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट एट सिक्स आ रहा है ये थर्टी वन पॉइंट वन थ्री नहीं आ रहा है ना नहीं सर फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट एट सिक्स आ रहा है ओके फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट तो वो ऐसे गड़बड़ कैसे हुआ थर्टी वन पॉइंट वन थ्री वन थ्री इज इट राइट तू गड़बड़ मत करो थीटा इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट एट सिक्स डिग्री विथ रेफरेंस टू एक्स एक्सिस And alpha is equal to 31.13 degree angle made by resultant with reference to y axis. In which quadrant it is shown in the figure? So how should we write the answer? So answer लिखने का एक तरीका है. Answer ऐसे लिखते हैं इसको. So therefore R is equal to देखो R bar ऐसे लिखा है. Equal to. तो पहले magnitude लिखेंगे. Magnitude कितना है? 665. Point. Tell me how much it is. 74 newton. Do you agree with me? Yes sir. एंड हाँ. फिर वो क्वार दिखाएंगे जिसमें ये एंगल है आर यू विद मी एंड दिस विल बी मेंशन एस थीटा इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट एट सिक्स डिग्री इस तरीके से आंसर लिखते हैं आर यू विद मी यस सर दिस इज हाउ वी स्पेसिफाई द रिजल्टेंट और एडिशन ऑफ टू फोर्सेस समझ में आ रहा है हाँ सर हाँ तो आप जरा आयरनी देखो इस प्रॉब्लम में वी वे आर फाइंडिंग आउट द एडिशन ऑफ दिस टू फोर्सेस और रिजल्टेंट ऑफ दिस टू फोर्सेस विच इज द रिवर्स प्रोसेस ऑफ फाइंडिंग आउट रिजोल्यूशन आर यू विथ मी प्रोसेस रिवर्स है यस सर 
लेकिन वी यूज रेक्टेंगुलर रिजोल्यूशन टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम तो पहले तो हमने दोनों फोर्सेस को एक्स एंड वाई डिरेक्शन में रिजोल्व किया एंड देन वी कंबाइंड इट इन टू एक फोर्स आर यू विथ मी नाउ वट डू आई मीन बाई दिस रिजल्ट एंड सो इफ आई रिप्लेस दिस पी बार एंड क्यू बार बाय दिस आर बार Making an angle of 58.86 degree with x-axis and having magnitude of 665.74 newton, it is going to have same effect not only at point of application but at all other points on the hook. Are you with me? चलो अब ये पहला problem था इसलिए बहुत systematically मैंने solve बहुत slowly solve किया. Now you look at other problems. Tell me. Let us now go to some. हाँ, now in this page, tell me which problem do you think? जो सबसे डिफिकल्ट लगे वो बोलना सो दैट वी सॉल्व दैट इन दी क्लास बोलो कौन सा सॉल्व करना है सर द लास्ट वन फोर्थ वन टू पॉइंट टेन यस ओके लेट एस सॉल्व दैट सो प्रिंट स्क्रीन You have to be ready to solve any problem without looking at it spontaneously. Problem statement पढ़ना भी नहीं चाहिए ये आएगा ही ऐसा कॉन्फिडेंस होना चाहिए आर यू विथ मी सो प्रैक्टिस हार्ड सो लेट एस पेस्ट इट लेट मी सिलेक्ट दिस टू पॉइंट टेन एंड लेट मी टेक इट टू आवर स्क्रीन दिस इज नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दिस इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर Eleven that we are solving in the class. Quickly, we will solve this. Meanwhile, ensure that everybody writes your name and roll number in the chat box. Hmm. चलो डिटरमाइन क्या आई यू एबल टू रीड दिस यस सर हाँ डिटरमाइन द एंगल थीटा फॉर कनेक्टिंग मेंबर ए कनेक्टिंग मेंबर ए टू प्लेट सो दैट द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ फोर्स एफ ए एंड एफ बी इज डिरेक्टेड हॉरिजॉन्टली टूअर्स राइट मतलब अच्छा शायद ये हमने प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व किया था पहले रिजल्टेंट के हिसाब से अब इस हिसाब से करेंगे समबडी हैज आल्सो सॉल्व इट यूजिंग रिजोल्यूशन सो इट शुड इट शुड नॉट बी अ प्रॉब्लम तो क्या होना चाहिए आप एफ ए और एफ बी का रिजल्टेंट हमें कैसे चाहिए हॉरिजॉन्टल चाहिए एंड यू हैव टू ऑल्सो फाइंड आउट इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड सो रिजल्टेंट हॉरिजोंटल चाहिए एंड उसका मैग्नीट्यूड भी कैलकुलेट करना है तो थीटा डिसाइड करना है इज द टास्क गिवन टू यू आर यू विथ मी Yes, If this is not readable, I will write this. This is F A. This is eight kilonewton. This makes an angle of theta with vertical. This is called as bracket. So there are two members resting on the bracket. They are being pulled by the force F A and F B. F B is six kilonewton. Are you with me? Yes, sir. It is pulled. This is also pulled. So both are pulled. And This is angle theta. These two forces are meeting at this point. Hmm. This angle is 40 degree vertical. के साथ ये angle 40 degree. All this data is given, and you want the resultant to be horizontal. Are you with me? So R should be directed along this. Is the condition that is given. Are you yes. with me? Uh, so if R has to be horizontal, can you tell me what will be its y component? Let me call this as horizontal direction as x. And vertical direction as y. So resultant is horizontal. मतलब resultant is directed along positive x. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Ah. Uh, so what will be r y then? बताओ. Resultant का y component कितना होगा? देखो, if the resultant is directed along x, what is the angle that it makes with y? Ninety degree. Ninety degree. एंड देन जिसके बीच में थीटा वो कंपोनेंट कॉस थीटा सो आर का कंपोनेंट अलॉन्ग वाई कितना आएगा आर कॉस 90 डिग्री कॉस 90 कॉस 90 इज जीरो सो इट इज नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ रिजल्टेंट इज हॉरिजॉन्टल अलॉन्ग एक्स आर वाई हैजू बी जीरो डू यू एग्री विथ मी यस सर 
Uh, so this is the condition that we we must respect. But what is Ry? Ry is nothing but summation of y components of both the forces. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Now, can you tell me y component of Fa? Fa ka y component kitna aega? 8 cos 90. 8 k, 8 k no, cos theta. Haan, 8 cos theta, not 90. Dekho, yes, Fa is directed along this. So, jiske beech mein theta, y and Fa ke beech mein angle theta hai, wo component cos theta. So, therefore, 8 cos theta. Do you agree with me? Is the component of Fa along y direction. Happy? Yes, sir. Ah. sir Side Eight kilo newton hai wo. K nahi hai. Okay, okay. Kilo newton is the unit of force. Are yes. you with me? So yes. of course we are writing down all the forces in kilo newton. That is understood. So eight cos theta. Ye component Positive. y direction mein rehne wala hai. Are you with yes, me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. Plus sign. Plus sign. Why? Because you can imagine if Fa is in this direction, I have to resolve it along x and y. So resolution I say rehne wala hai. Parallelogram I say complete hone wala hai. That means y component I say rehega or x component I say rehega. Are you with me? Yes. So therefore it is going to be upward. So therefore this component is positive. Now what about 6 kN? Iska resolution mujhe karna hai. To kaise karna padega? Ek component I say rehega, ek component I say rehega. That means this y component is going to be downward. Are you yes. with me? And yes. therefore it is negative. So I introduce negative sign. Or kya liku? Batao. Sir, negative 6 cos 40. Right. Jiske beach me theta, wo component cos theta. 6 and vertical. Iske beach ka angle 40 diya hai, to wo component cos 40 hona hi hai. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So 6 cos 40. 40. So this must be equal to zero. There is no other force. So therefore, this must be equal to zero. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Why it should be zero? Because I want Ry to be zero. Why do I want Ry to be zero? Because I want resultant, resultant to be horizontal. Along x. Ha, resultant along x. Fine. So now, solve this. You can tell me what is the value of theta. Put your calculator in degree mode. Tell me what is theta. Yes, sir. Sir, 54.93. 54.93. degree. Okay. I hope others are also cross verifying it by independent calculations. Agar apne yaha garbar kar di, to baad mein aapko notes dekhte wak bhi bhoot garbar hogi. And I also expect that these problems, at least solution, you are writing down on the notebook. This problem statement later on, when I share the board copy with you, you can leave the space for that. And you can solve the problem in your notebook. Problems I expect that you solve along with me. So this is problem number 11. Theta is equal to 54.93 degree. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Okay. So if this is the theta, now what will be the resultant? So resultant is going to be square root of Rx square plus Ry square. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. But square root of R, Rx square plus Ry square mein Ry agar zero hai, so it is going to be square root of Rx square itself. So it's resultant Rx. is going to be Rx itself. Yes. Do you agree with me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Chalo. Now tell me what it will be. So it is going to be summation fx? Summation along x direction. So tell me how much is that? Summation fx. So sabse pahle fa ka component. Kitna aega? 8. Cos ya sin? Sin sir. Haan, why? Because the angle is not between. Theta udar. Yes sir. Haan, theta is between y and that component. We want x component. So angle is 8 sin theta. But theta we have already found out. So it is 8. 6.54 6. ho 54.93. No, don't calculate individual terms. Okay sir. 93 degree. Are you with me? And its sign is positive. Because you imagine. I said. When you resolve this 8 kN, 
x component is towards right. Even for this, when you resolve this, y component is downward, but x component is towards right. So both the x components are going to be positive. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. And what is the component of 6 kilonewton? 6, six uh, sin 40. Sin 40. Jiske beech mein theta wo component cos theta aur dusra wala component sin theta. So therefore, plus 6 sin 40. Now tell me how much is that? So how much is Rx? Equal to R. So 10.42. Plus aya na? Plus 10.42 Newton and therefore it is towards right. Are you with me? Yes. So this is the solution to this problem. It's really easy. If you systematically solve it, it will minute. Now, you can also cross verify this solution with our earlier solution because this problem we have parallelogram se solve kiya hai, if you remember that's all right so it is 10.42 newton ye ho gaya. Uh, now there are few more problems here so i'm going to choose certain problems from here and i'm going to give them as assignment assignment number one okay yes sir uh, so by that way you will be you will be confident about resolving the force along rectangular components uh, we are not going to stop here we are going to tomorrow also solve few more problems based on this concept thode se difficulty level bada, bada hue problems ye aage wale problems solve karne ki koshish karenge kal ke class mein are you with me yes sir and then we will go to uh, finding out resultant it is exactly the reverse process of resolution so then we will define what is resultant then we will go to something called as lamy's theorem then we will go to something called as uh Varignan's theorem so resultant and Varignan's theorem is coming up next so with this i think we will stop today ensure that all of you have written down your name and roll number I see that one or two students leave the meeting in between. So next time onwards, I will take the surprise attendance at any point of time. With this, let us stop today. Okay, have a good day. Kisi ko kuch doubt hai to pucho. I am waiting. If anyone has a doubt, please ask.